This is part three of our chili oil taste test. So the first one starts out on the affordable scale. This one is the Heinz Culinary Crunch. And this one we got at Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet. Yeah, so you can find this online at Walmart for $6.78. So by far, out of all of these, this one is going to be the least expensive. So there's three versions. This one is the Chili Pepper Crunch. The other one is the Mandarin Orange Miso Crunch. And then the Garlic one. Heinz, if you don't know, is a brand that makes ketchup. I, I really don't have like high hopes for this one, but like if you're starting out, maybe this one makes more sense because it's more readily available. You might be able to find this at like your local grocery store, who knows? So yeah, let's give it a try. First thoughts is there's a lot of oil, but there's also a lot of crunch in there. It smells a little bit smoky. Let's just go all in and one bite of it. That's a big bite. Okay, okay, a little bit less. Very crunchy, I could hear them crunching. It's very crunchy. Like moderately spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Ooh, it's spicy. Yeah, depending on which type of crunch that you get in there, mm. it's medium to higher spice. Yeah, so overall, if you do like big crunch in your chili oil or ch chili crunch, you'll definitely like this one. Yeah. It does have sort of like an oniony garlic yeah. taste yeah. that stands out towards the end. And it is moderately spicy, so if you're like adventurous, but you don't want to be too adventurous, and if you want to stay on the affordable side, this one's the one for you. Next, we have garlic chili crisp, crunchy, spicy, garlicky magic from Kari Kari. And it says, warning, explosively good on everything. We create flavors that add a kaboom. Grab a spoon. And we reached out to them and they were really, really kind enough to gift this to us. Yes, so thank you again, Kari Kari team. They sent this out to us. And also shout out to ASAP Napster that commented on our last video that requested this one specifically. So we're very, very excited to try this one out. Yep. If you look on their site, the reason why they call it Kari Kari, they named it after one of the many delightful words meaning crunchy or crispy in Japanese. The creators, Ruby and Rob, they come from a multicultural family being half African-American Japanese and half Irish Italian. So very multicultural. They have lots of different influences in this chili oil. Let's open it. And it says stir from the bottom. Okay, we're going to really do this again. <laughs> no. no. We gotta take this somewhere. Try to get somebody to open the pickle jar. Tap it, tap it. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot of bits. It's very Ooh. chunky, very, very chunky. There's a lot of garlic pieces floating on top. And this is a very, very crunchy, crispy condiment right here. A couple of things that they recommend putting it on is grilled meats, seafood, roasted veggies, fried eggs, fresh salads, warm rice noodles, fold it into an aioli, and even vanilla ice cream. Oh. Never tried it on ice cream, but not. We've had sriracha ice cream before. It was not bad. Smell it. It smells very smoky. I'm gonna try the garlic chips. Mmm, this is good. The kick comes in at the end. This is so good. This is dangerous. Mmm. This doesn't need anything. <laughs> I would totally, you know what this would be really, really delicious on? Pizza. I want pizza! Like with the margarita pizza or something. It's garlicky, it's spicy, it's flavorful. It's not just straight up oil like most of those cheap ones. In terms of the price scale, Kari Kari fits like right on the middle of the scale. It's about $15. Yes, that does sound a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. It is excellent. It's very crunchy. So if you're the type that really likes the crunchy side within your chili crisp, then you'll really like this one because the crunchy bits really, really stand out on this one. We will be repurchasing this. Yeah, so ASAP Napster, thanks again. We wouldn't have known about this without you, so thank you. And the packaging is really nice too. Yeah, so be sure to check out their website. Their whole thing is just, it's very visually appealing. Yeah. Next up, hot crispy oil. So once again, Thank you to the Hot Crispy Oil team, especially John the founder, who actually sent us a sample of these. One that's extra hot and one that's just the regular hot. So we're really excited to try these out. This is also on the medium scale in terms of pricing, which is $14.99 on their website. And John the founder actually let us know that this is a very unique product because they use Mexican chili peppers, large pieces of fried garlic and shallots, and has flavor profile with influence from everything from salsa matcha, Sichuan chili crisp, to Turkish Aleppo chili oil. That combination sounds very brand new to us, so really excited to try this out. So we usually start with the regular hot one first, and then we go to the extra hot one. Let's do that, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, this one smells very bold. Mmm. 
This smells like very Chinese style. It does. First thoughts, it is very crunchy too. There's a lot of crunchy bits in here. So try to get it from the bottom. Our breath is gonna be very garlicky at the end of this video. It is. Lots of garlic, you can taste the shallots in it. I would totally add this in like some chow mein and like garlicky pasta. Oh, that would be delicious. Yeah. Okay, so now time for the extra. To kick it up a little bit. Alright, here we go. Here it goes. Oh yeah, be careful. It takes a little while, but the heat settles in. It's one of the lesser extra spicy chili crisps that we've had. 100%. That's exactly yeah. it. When we tried the Zindru, one, oh man, <laughs> that messed us up. Yeah. But this one, it's extra spicy, but tolerable still. Mm -hmm. And you can really taste all the crunchy goodness in it. Yeah. So definitely like this one too. So if you're a fan of really like crispy, crunchy, and like a really stronger garlic taste, then for sure you, you should like this one. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, then you can go towards the extra spicy one. I feel like we'll probably use this one for most things, I think, because it feels very versatile. Mm -hmm. So if you do like a versatile type of chili crisp, then this one's for sure. And it even says try it on pasta, pizza, salad, sandwiches. I think it would be great with stir-fry vegetables too. Yes, oh, that would be perfect, yeah. yeah. Stir -fry. Amp up your veggies. Hot crispy oil and the founder, John, thank you once again. We love this, we'll be buying this one again too. We're just gonna be running out of pantry space because we just have all the chili oils. We need a pantry specifically for chili. Crisps. We need like, can you imagine like a chili oil cellar, like a, a wine <laughs> cellar, but with chili oil. All right, next, so this one is the Umami Chili Crisp. And this one you can get either on their website for $18, you can get it on Amazon for $8.79. So it's a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones, unless you buy it on their site. We have tried this one out, so this one isn't really so much of a regular taste test, but it's just for us to let you guys know if you might like this or not. So it is very crunchy. There's quite a bit of crunchy stuff in here with the fermented black beans. So we're a big fan of fermented black beans. Mm. That's why we really like the Fly By Jing. Yeah. For me, the fermented black bean just gives it the extra umami and a little bit of saltiness. Lots of flakes of chili yeah. and sesame seeds in there too. Yes, that's the one. So if you really like sesame, and sesame seed type oils, then this one's for you. And also, there's a bit of a warning that comes with this one because it has crystallized ginger in it. It is a little bit sweet, so be aware of that. Slight, it's only very, very slight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless there's there's a couple of like <laughs> bigger chunks in here, so that might catch you off guard. So before you buy, just be aware of that. But overall, I think if you do really like the very crispy side and like we said, the sesame, the crystallized ginger, then this one's totally for you. And since it's on the less expensive side, it's less of a risk, so be sure to try it out. Next, blank slate. So we, we have tried this one out. Remember, you can check out all of these at chilioilgang.com for a full review and our previous videos as well. This one's on a little bit more of the inexpensive side which is $12.99 on their website that you can get it. Not too bad. It does feel like it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. This one is eight ounces. So it comes in a little bit bigger jar. There's quite a bit of oil in here. So the ratio is a little bit higher. Yeah, right off the bat, this one is much less crispy, crunchy. This one has a Sichuan peppercorn that is very prominent when you taste it. So if you do like the tingling sensation, the Sichuan peppercorns, this one's for sure for you. We went through some of the Amazon reviews and somebody said it tastes like licorice and they hated it, but we don't get that yeah. sense from this. But just be aware that that could be an issue if you don't like that. I think what they mean is the peppercorns. Mm. Yeah, the mala numbing. And we've tried this with a lot of different things, but this might be our go-to for dumplings. It's numbing my lips. I think if there's one thing that we could fix about this is to have more of the crunchy and a little bit less of the oil. So if we mix that ratio a little bit, then for sure. So if you do like numbing spice or if you want to be adventurous, and you never had numbing spice before, it kind of has this tingling feel on your tongue as you eat it. It's not extremely severe. If you're on the more adventurous side, give this one a try for sure. For me, I like this flavor, but it needs a little mmm, so I think I would mix it with a little bit of soy sauce. And also overall, this one seems to be a little bit more on the savory side compared to the other ones so far. So if you're a little bit more sensitive to savory things or things that feel a little bit too salty, then you might not like this one. A couple of warnings issued here. If this sounds good then give this one a try next we are revisiting this one because last time we bought the x batch we did not buy the original og batch since then we've tried this one and obviously you can see that we've used it quite a bit because this one we like it a lot mm -hmm. yeah this one is 
less spicy than the X batch. It's very savory. It, compared to all the other ones, the crisp is not as big. It's more fine. All right, so I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. It's more of a paste, I think, because we've used up a lot of the oil. <laughs> It's crunchy, but this one I would say is more savory than the blank slate. This one, they show the spice level out of five. It's a one out of five. I would say like maybe a two out of five. It's yeah. not a one. Yeah, two or two yeah. and a half maybe. Yeah, crunchy garlic. Yeah. I taste the crunchy and garlic and mm -hmm. soy sauce in here. This one is nice because it feels a little bit more versatile. We use it on a lot of different things. So if you like something that's versatile and not too spicy, and is a little bit savory, then for sure you'll like this one. This is a little bit on the inexpensive side, at least mm -hmm. for us, because we bought this at our local Big T Mart. So they do have <laughs> some of the places that you can buy this in store listed mm -hmm. on their website. So be sure to check it out. Shout out to Valerie Cow, who last time in our last video said that she's just able to eat the X batch by the spoonful. So we bow down to you. There's no way. We, we would never do that. <laughs> and I love Zindru with dumplings. Yes. So we'll stick with this one. This one fits more our style because the x batch just like burned off our tongues and yeah oh we, we still actually have that we filmed that video like a year and a half ago <laughs> we're still making our way into the x batch yeah yeah xcj so we did an entire review on xcj noodles and dumplings that you can check out after this video if you are interested in trying that out because that was excellent <laughs> but this one was gifted to us by the team at xcj so thank you very much we have tried a bunch of this and if you can see once again, that this is <laughs> down a little bit because we use this quite a bit. And XCJ, they strive to bring restaurant quality food to your home. We think that their food is excellent and we lo already really love this chili oil because it tastes like the ones that you can get at a Chinese restaurant. It has a lot of oil, but that's because the oil has a lot of flavor and you don't want to discard that. And it's actually made in Monterey Park. This chili oil tastes like it's from a restaurant for sure. And this is why we love it. The price is right here. Next, we have the Mommy Loss Chili Crack Oil. And we got this at our local shop in Little Tokyo called Yoboseo. And they have a lot of AAPI small businesses featured in their store. And this one is made in Las Vegas and it's a Filipino style. They use a natto oil, garlic, chili peppers, peanuts, corn nuts, sea salt, tomato powder, and coconut sugar. This is a very unique one. This one's very interesting. Apparently it, this natto oil is very common in Filipino cooking mm. and a lot of people make it on their own. So it's really cool that it's a part of this one. You can buy this for $20 at Yoboseo, which we did. And you can also get Boon and Mobile Fuku Chili Crunch there. So if you're in the LA area, be sure to check it out because that's a really awesome store. Otherwise, it says that you can DM them on Instagram. We'll leave their Instagram in the description and you can ask them for a bottle. So this one feels like the most exclusive out of all of these. Yeah. Obviously this one's not as readily available. Mm -hmm. We will let you guys know how this one is. Just by looking at it first glance, it is packed with the chili yeah. crisp. It's only like 20% oil. I can't even make it all the way to the bottom with this spoon. Yeah. Oh, I'm a fan already. The smell is very neutral. Ooh. Oh, oh spicy. spicy. Yeah, it's spicy and it's a lot more savory. Mm. And there's a lot of crunch in it. I like this one a lot, for sure. Mmm, this is good. This is really delicious. So it has wants. a great chili to savory ratio. Yes. And it's not one of those like, because so, some of these other ones, their crunches, they like get stuck in your teeth, like in the back. This one is not like too crunchy. It's a really well-balanced chili oil. I understand now. It's crack. It is. This is really <laughs> addictive. This is one that like you're just eating by the spoonful mm. again. Yeah, so this one's more on exclusive and a little bit more on the pricey side, but wow. This one really stands out because it does taste a little bit different than the rest of them. I would say for sure, obviously this one works in Filipino cooking. Yes. For sure. It would be really versatile if you do like things a little bit more savory, mm. which is us. <laughs> so if you don't like things as, as savory, then mm -hmm. You might not like this one as much. Yes. So overall, which one is your favorite? Probably Zindru. So Zindru, I would say, is more our style because it's a little bit more savory and very versatile. We do use it on a lot of different things. And number two, I would say, is probably like a three-way tie. <laughs> kari Kari, hot crispy oil, and also these Mami Laz. There's, there's so much to say about all of these because a lot of these are very crispy crunchy. 
and I like that. Yes, and we recommend trying them for yourself and letting us know what you think about them because not all chili oil is created equal. And not everyone's taste buds are the same. So something that we like, you might not like. We recommend trying them for yourself. But for me, I think the Kari Kari and the XCJ chili oil might be my favorites. And then coming in third is the Mommy Gloss. This one's super unique for sure. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoy this little video of ours and I hope you guys learned something and you're able to try out these chili oils and chili crisps for yourselves. Yeah, and also to support some of these small businesses because they work very hard to create a really awesome product that takes a lot of research and a lot of development to make these exactly for a specific audience that would appreciate it the most. Again, you can read our review on all of these chili oils at chiliolking.com. Yeah, and you can also get some merchandise like this hoodie right here. We also have shirts. So if you're into joining the chili oil gang, we will welcome you. Catch you next week for a new video. Bye-bye.